everyone welcome back again so guys i would like when i hear this lady's story because according to her she say now some nigeria pastors a pastor in particular now he make now he the reason we make a uh, pekin be like this you understand so she narrated all the story how the pregnancy of even when due dates come that they said she go born like the Hebrew women in fact the video is already long i don't want to take your time guys watch the video and please drop your comment on the comment section if it's really true or she's just trying to put blame on the pastor i don't know guys watch the video and let me know what you think of the comment section thank you guys and god bless you you see some nigeria pastors are the reason why my child is like this some nigeria pastors are the reason why we have a lot of special needs children around nigeria I was proud of my son i was attending a thursday program every thursday we go to church to pray show us that we are going to give birth as Hebrew women. Some of these pastors even in, don't, don't even encourage you going for Antinental. Some of them, they believe once you come to their church, your problem is over. Pregnant of this, my son, I was told by my pastor that I should not allow anyone to do a C-session for, for me. Otherwise, I will buy. What he did was he automatically put fear in me. So when I was pregnant, I just knew that I wasn't going for um, CS. I was always praying that I'm going to give birth like a Hebrew woman. I did not go for a CS because my pastor had already told me that if I do, I'm going to buy. Even when my pregnancy, even when my pregnancy was 40 weeks, I was, it was already my due date. I stayed 40 weeks, 41 weeks, 42 weeks. 43 weeks labor was not coming when i called my pastor and i told him that sir i have overstayed my due dates and my doctor is already calling me i should come let them induce me my pastor was very angry and said why would i be induced that hebrew women don't get induced this session just inducement so after much much i have to call him that i still have to go to the hospital when i was going he called me to come and when i get there he gave me olive oil and anointed oil to take to the hospital while in labor i should be drinking then is that not wickedness my doctor told me that madam you need to be induced this is your 43 weeks going to 44 weeks it's unlike pregnancy you need to be induced i was young and naive I wasn't that much, I was young, that's true, but I was naive because it's not even a bad age that these pastors get to our head. You see, after much, much, my family insisted I was induced. I was induced on Monday. Labors came Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I did not give birth. The doctor suggests a CS. I almost fainted. Actually, so, I was scared. I was so scared. This fear was like, ah. CS, my, my pastor have already prophesied in ch Thursday's church that when I do a CS that I will buy. So I was scared. I said, I refused. I said, I'm not going to do a CS. I will give birth like Hebrew women. Eventually. So almost four days of my labor, I was already weak. The baby inside me was already weak. I was scared. The doctors were warning me, Madam, go for a CS. I was, I called my pastor. My pastor even came to the hospital with some of his prayer warriors and they were praying. Eventually, I gave birth. My son was weak. My son was very weak and I was as well weak. I don't want these videos to be long. I'm going to drop a part two to continue this story. Just watch us for part two. Talk to previous video. If I had gone for a C-session, probably by now, my son would have started working. I wouldn't have been a single stay at home mother, staying at home, doing nothing with my life. Six years now. Only after my pastor insisted that I should not go for a C session. And because of that fear was already in me, and I also believe so much in him. So whatever some of some my son had a lot of complications because of the stress I made him went through, labor of four days. It's not you nobody know, where you know go be where you know go affect. After we were actually discharged, um, doctor, so after we were discharged, doctor told me that um, there might be a little complication because of the stress that my son went through. There might be a little delay, but from the EEG and the MORI test that we did, that everything was okay. That we should just go home and take care of him. If there's anything, I should bring him back to the hospital. 
so it's time passes we we're going my son had neck control very early unlike some other special needs children my son started sitting even before he was one year but because of there was a little delay there i told my pastor still my pastor i still say still my pastor so i told him that this is this is what my son he was like no that the children they gave birth with this boy that they have started working now that why is he not working then i should bring him in church that that one is doctor report that have i heard god report mm -hmm. you know this is somebody i've believed in right from time so that day it was the 9th of june i went to church went to church and he told me that if i know the way my son came to this life i should strip him let him be the way the way he came to this life i should make him to go that way that means i should strip him which i did he started praying the ran him with prayer warriors and they started praying they ran him with prayer warriors they started pouring olive oil on him and mind you this was christmas period amata was so much because this is in the east amata was so much the weather was so cold they they started praying for my son at the process of the prayer this same my pastor this is for example this was my son was not wearing clothes, he was carrying him, he was kabashi praying and everything. He did this to my child. This is my child's head now. He turned him this way and my, my son started convulsing. If ever since I gave birth to this boy, he started convulsing, started having seizure. And at the end of the day, let me just call the story short, we went to the hospital. The doctor was really angry with me, who did this to this boy? We did an EEG, they said because of the turning up upside down that his brain is have um the brain now have some damages, have a lot of damages. And that was that have been the beginning of my sorrow. Ever since then I started this journey. In Lord, all of us respect him. Nobody's going to do anything to him. He's organ dog. <laughs> anyway, this is the reason why I this is one of the reasons why I said Nigeria pastors are some of the reason our some of our children are like this. If special need mom they coming to tell you share their experience with you, you will be wow with what happened to their child. I said this video wants it to be very long, but it's actually long. I'm going to be bringing you more stories about what I have gone through in the hands of these pastors as a special need mom. You know. I was desperate. I need my son to be fine. So I have gone to many places in times of looking for help. I'm still going to drop another video soon of see what I went through in the hands of these people called themselves Nigeria, some Nigeria pastors. So for now, let's end it here. I'm still going to drop a video soon to explain more on what I've gone through. If you are a single, if you are a special need mom and you still want to share your experience with me, please don't hesitate to share your experience with us so that we'll be learning okay they said experience is the best teacher experience is the best teacher so for now let's end this here see you later and bye bye just watch my next video i will explain more what i went through in the hands of these pastors okay take care okay i posted a video um some days ago complaining of what i went through in the hands of a pastor or let's say some pastors before i give birth to my son and after i give birth to my son after i posted the video um some people started attacking me so let's say you know, i'm this and that that i caused what was doing that what is doing my son some people even called me on phone and started threatening me that i'm trying to destroy the body of christ some people if you see the kind of calls i got the kind of comment the kind of messages i got concerning that video that I should bring it down. This is a video I posted on my page, and this is my story. I didn't tell anybody's story. I said this is what happened to me, and some people were calling me that I should bring that video down. And the kind of comment I've been getting on that particular video, people that don't even know me, that have not seen my video before, they just started judging me even without knowing me. I don't care to condemn any pastor or any church. As you can see from my video, I didn't call any church name. It's not like I, I don't want to, but I just don't have that strength or that emotional trauma for that strength. I don't want, I don't even have that strength yet because this thing happened like three to four years ago. 
that is when this thing happens so i have let go i've we I've, I've taken my cross the way i see it i've embraced everything i have let go i have forgiven i am only here sharing my story so that other women will learn from my mistake so that i can create awareness of what is happening around us see if women start coming out eh to start seeing what they have been through in the hands of all some of others, our pastors. You people that are condemning me will understand. Some of you that are telling me I'm this, I'm that, I am that, I am this, calling me names, saying I cause this one, I cause that one. So let me tell you, eh? If some of you were in my shoe, you would have done worse. Do you know what it takes for someone to tell you that you are going to buy your first pregnancy? Someone is coming to bear wash you that you're going to buy if you do CS. And this is see, I, I I I know of somebody. I have known, I have seen, I have heard of a lot of women that these men of God have told that if they do CS, they will buy. Some of them will not do CS. They will be in labor. Either they they, they them they finally buy because they do not do CS, or their child finally buy. buy. I'm very sure that some of you that is commenting this thing on my on my comments, most of some of you have seen that experience. Some of you have gotten that experience before, but you're busy judging me because I came out to educate our young people and also our pregnant mothers that CS is not bad. That when it's time for you to give birth, if the only option is CS, please go for it. I just, I'm just here sharing my experience of what I went through, that if I have done CS, probably by now my son would have started working. But because I trusted a man of God and I believe so much in him, that was why I didn't do CS and I believed that I was going to give birth like he promised. Because why? We, we that we are Africa as Nigeria, we grow up in a home that we, they raise up with religion. All of us carry religion for her. It takes maturity and wisdom to understand that some things we do when we were that our parents were doing that some of us were still doing back then that it was foolishness it actually takes by god grace to understand that there is nothing like knowing god for yourself seriously because while growing up then our parents i grew up in a very strong christian home a very strong religious home so i was brought up in that way that to trust my pastor even as in i grew up this I, i've already grown up and I, when i the reality hit me that's when i knew that some things that i'm supposed to i'm not it's not everything in this life that you're supposed to listen to pastor sometimes when they tell you something just ignore them but guess what some women out there don't know they are still tied down to their men of god some of them go as far as respecting their husband uh, their pastors more than their husband some of them listen not here to fight any pastor or any church like i said what i shared is my story that is the reason why when people are saying call the name of the pastor call the name of the church i i don't have that strength i don't have that emotional strength to drag that to drag that right now see eh, i'm a single mother and i am taking care of my child and my other child so i don't have strength to start dragging anybody i just use this my page to teach women like me to learn 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 when they write cs for you please go for a cs stop believing in this men of god some of them their wife is not even in nigeria when their wife is pregnant they travel now to go and give birth to their children some of them, as in, if I should start as, as, as a special need mom and as a person that have had a little challenge in life, if I should start saying the things that I've gone through in hands of this man of God there, you people will be shocked. Maybe with time, I will start bringing this small, small, so you people will understand where I'm coming from. Like I said, I am not here to judge any man of God. All I'm sharing is what happened to me. I am not here to condemn any church. All I'm saying is my experience. I'm using it to teach women that... When you are pregnant, please go for antenata. Me, I started the antenata. This is my boy you're seeing here. I started his antenata when he was when I was just two months pregnancy. That's when I started the antenata. So I did everything that I'm supposed to. The only place I made a mistake, like I said, was not listening to my doctor. Please, when you are pregnant, listen to your doctor. All these men of God, some of them, some of them don't know any jack about health. That is what my former video that I posted, that was, that was what I'm trying to say and that was what I'm trying to bring out that when you are pregnant, you should take care of yourself and stop listening to all this man of God. When they tell you that somebody is going to kill you, forget that. Nobody is killing you. Nobody is killing you. If you do the right thing, you will come at a life, your baby will come at a life. That is what I am.
right guys uh, so what do you guys think about this video hey god now wow i don't even know what to say i don't want to say anything because to start with which one be pastor what kind of brie washing is that one then you say you want born like hebrew women what this state and say woman when you see yes, born not be hebrew women woman I don't I don't really understand that aspect. Well anyway, guys, I would like to know what you think about this video. Please drop your comment on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to my channel. To my other subscribers, I say thank you so much. My new subscribers, thank you so much. And please, guys, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel for more updates and also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload any new video. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you so much for your support and please continue supporting your girl. See you all in the next one. And bye for now.